Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Europa Universalis 4 featuring the mod Alex Talionis 2. My name is Steve Trunk and I'm playing as Poland and um, we are currently fabricating a claim on to Teutonic Order because our truth is going to run out in a couple of months and actually in February this year and then I will be able to declare war on Teutonic Order now the truce has expired and they will drag in Livonian Order which I tend or intent to vas vassalize. So I want to vassalize Livonian order. I want to take Riga, sell it to Livonian order, and I don't know what to do with uh, with these fools. Probably just annex them. I mean, I don't really have too many admin points lying around, but you know, I could always do this. All right, so we've improved. We've been embargoed. We could probably embargo him. I think I've already done that. Yeah, I have. Who are my other rivals, by the way? We have the Ottomans and Bohemia. So Bohemia should, yeah, still embargoed, and um, Ottomans as well. Okay. Now we currently have the mission to improve our prestige. So that's certainly something we need to do. But also we need to get some more troops here. To serve them is certainly helping us. Um, I'm not gonna go full serve them in this, or maybe I am already, probably. Um, but you know, not necessarily. It's just. Definitely not going to be as liberal as in the uh, Brittany game. Certainly not. Okay, so we can now declare one everyone, pretty much. Problem is, I would be at war with Austria. I'm not... Actually, yeah, Austria. Yeah, I'm not interested in that. Not interested in that. Still fabricating... I could also fabricate a claim on this guy, but I don't really see the point. I mean, I guess it would make it cheaper, but nah. Not really interested. Crimea, or not Crimea, but Lithuania does have a claim on Theodoro, and they have one in Gotland. So we could de yeah, definitely go for these, but not sure why I should. Nobody would join, but they would have Norway on their side. Not Sweden, though. But they rivaled me anyway. No, I'm not gonna do that. So let's probably improve relations with, like, Moldavia or something, yeah. Doesn't like me too nice. We still have the Western Arms trade, so that is certainly good. We'll keep that, of course. I could tack up, but I'd rather not, really. First technology group I want to take should... Hmm... What should it be? Diplomatic. Sounds good. Influence. I'm probably going to take influence. It gives me diplomatic relations, vassal income, reputation, approved relations, force limit, diplomatic annexation, and some of the espionage ideas in here. At least part of it. Rumor mongering. I guess it makes sense to have that as influence. Maxim Wichowski, controversial protectionist. Oh, that's one of our advisors, isn't it? I bet you. There it is. Maxim Wichowski, our trade dude. Okay, so what is he doing? Gain two mercantilism at the cost of ten legitimacy. Yeah, sure. Mercantilism is always good. I'm always looking forward to get some mercantilism going. What is our mercantilism? A level, uh, 11. 11 is right now. So now it should be 13, yeah. Great. Should give us more trade income. Currently making, wow, five ducats out of trade. That's not bad. It's not good, but it's not bad. And Venice is now at war with the Mamluks. And the Knights as well, okay. Do you really want to do that? You're not allied to hedges in Syria. Syria is around, cool. And Silesia is now allied to their former overlord. Well, that wasn't really too surprising. Um, I bet they're going to vassalize them again at some point. And the Papal State just lost big time. Whoa! Jesus. They had to give up a lot of provinces. Oh yeah, by the way, I should probably keep fabricating. Your allies are still nobody important. Lunaborg. Yeah. Get some more claims going on... Uh, Neumark. Wait, no. I don't need Neumark. I need uh, 
Bottle's book. So I do have a claim here. I have one here. It's probably enough just taking these two provinces. Then they would still have these two. Plus Neumark. I don't care about Neumark at all. Like, not at all. Hmm. Yeah, I should probably build some more men. I can probably also unfund these forts, can I not? Let me check. No, I think we're getting army tradition for that. Fully maintained forts, 0.7. Yeah, so we're definitely gaining points. Being at peace reduces it. And we have DK as well. Okay. And last missionaries currently call it, not colonizing, but missionizing. And Moldavia finally converted his capital. Yay! It took basically forever, but now he has finally done it. And maybe Lithuania could do that too. I know they're getting a lot of um, tolerance, but maybe they could convert it. Because once I take it over, yeah, I lose the diplo. Once I take over that land, which I will at some point, I don't really want to convert all of it. It's kind of a would be a pain. Okay, I can build a castle. That's all I can build. Yeah, not interested in that. This peasant will really hurt a lot. Okay, we can probably also improve relations with this guy. I mean, after all, he's a subject. He should like us. He should look up to us. As someone trustworthy. Build two more knights, I'd say. How much money are we making? We're still making well, we're making decent cash. Uh, 19. It's all cost the same. These guys are much faster over here. Yeah. That would be 6 to 4. 6 to 6. Maybe these two guys as well. Alright, there goes my map out. Again. Oh, a, a bastard son. Oh, there we go. You have had a son with your lover. Oh, interesting. For a male ruler, it is obvious that the child is a bastard considering that it wasn't born from his wife. However, a married female ruler can often pass the baby off as her husband's, with even him being unaware of the deception. A bastard child will not be included in the line of succession unless he is legitimized and will always carry the stigma of having been born a bastard. My third son. I lose papal influence. No way. Can I spend it on something? I can. No, I still lose anyways. Okay, fine. Actually, if I hold on enough, I might be able to get up to 15, so then I won't really lose anything. We'll wait. But first, let's check. Let's check this. Um, ruler and dynasty. First and second. Okay, he's not yet been recognized. I have to click the event first. Okay. Two unmarried sons. Okay, so yeah. Um, that's nice. I've never had that, so I'm very happy. And Bohemia is apparently no longer a valid rival. It's annoying. How's that? I really do wonder. Who can I ch choose now? Sweden or Hungary or Austria? I'm um, not really too keen on any of those. Sweden, Novgorod, Novgorod maybe. I mean, they're gonna die, right? They're gonna get pinched in. But I don't really care about Novgorod. Although, if I take over Livonian Order, I might. Yeah. Alright, we'll rival Novgorod, that's fine. Which means I will now have to revoke the embargo from Bohemia and embargo Novgorod. I wonder what happened that they lost this. Issue an embargo, thank you. And how far are we? 14.6, that's not really quick enough. Probably just gonna lose these 10 points. Because at some point this will be uh, clicked. Okay. We'll see. We can always try. All of these men at 6 armies. Yeah, we have enough supply limits, so we just go over there. 
it's fine. Don't have any unrest in any provinces, which is very nice. Have our lands under control now. Okay, so we're almost done. We're gonna send a new guy, because I think I wanna just full annex these people. Um, take Osterode, yeah. So then we have full claims on all of this, and there it goes. Yeah, now we just lost. Ah, oh, that's so, it was so close. Next month we would have gotten it. Like, literally a couple of days, and we, we would have been able to uh, invest in another Cardinal. That's unfortunate, but oh well. Second time it was so close. Oh, we actually have mercenaries in here. I didn't even know. All right, let's declare the war. Livonian order Riga. Yeah, Lithuania, you don't really look too healthy. But I will declare war anyways. You should be able to handle them. Actually, no, no. Before we do that, let's march over there. So we can strike at them, like, immediately. Definitely gonna help us out. I'm gonna let him probably deal with Livonian order. Brandenburg can take Neumark, and then, yeah, we can take over the rest. Where is he going? He's taking attrition, that's why. He's moving away. Almost capped? Yeah, no, 2,300, okay, yeah, totally fine. Oh, and Silesia has broken their uh, thing. They are now allied to nobody, but they're still in the empire. What's the problem? And a new cardinal. I think we have two now, don't we? Poland? Where's our flag? There we go. Two! Yeah. We were right here with uh, Castile. On par with Castile, only England and France have more. Love it. Would be nice if we could become paper controller. Also, by the way, um, there's a Steam sale on going through uh, October 5th until October 5th. And for a lot of EU4 games and DLCs and all of that, and not EU4 games, I mean Paradox games. And all of the DLCs. And I got a lot of um, content pack and unit pack uh, DLCs. So if you want to check that out, you should head over to Steam. And uh, you can get a good deal there. Uh, I was not paid to say this. I'm just, uh, I like this. I got it myself. And so, yeah, you know, for these random things that you don't usually don't buy. Like, I only buy the big DLCs and not the, uh, not the small packages. But... You know, I thought for 50 cents a piece, it's pretty good. I might as well get it. But yeah, let's declare the war. Everyone's going to join, which is fine. We're probably going to co-belligerize Livonian Aura. Let's see. They are allied to Riga and Teutonic Order. Riga is allied to Livonian Order. The Hansa. Okay, we don't want to. We don't. We don't want to put in the Hansa. Um. So definitely do Livonian Order. Lunenburg. I don't care. Call him Brandenburg, and we're going to take. Um, yeah, this one. Good. Declare the war. Our second war with the Teutonic Order. And go right in. He has no general. Hopefully that stays the way. Everyone joined the war. No, he now has one. A 1-1-1 one, one, one guy. Well, it's better than our guy. That's for sure. And Riga. Wow, 7,000 men. I'm surprised. What are you doing? Just standing around. Yeah, he's not moving. That might be a problem, actually, if we don't get these guys dead in time. Yeah, which we actually didn't. We now have to get away. Yeah, we got caught. Damn it. Army is going to get slaughtered, most likely. No freaking way. Ah, because of this. What is he doing? Why? Why? <laughs> Shit. I just. They stack wipe my army. How, how is that even possible? Oh, for fuck's sake. Fine. They're probably our technology ahead, aren't they? They're tech 4, yeah. I don't know why I wasn't... I just wasn't thinking at all. Like, not at all, literally. That's, uh, that's a bummer. But, well, not much I can do, really. That costs so much cash and manpower, and now it's all gone. Okay, 4 infantry... And then we're gonna build two, three, four knights, and that's all we have. Alright, I guess. Keep going. We did one we did win one battle, and we immediately lost the other one. We're already at medium. Now we've got some more troops. Alright guys, now my allies are gonna come in. Brandenburg quickly siege that province. 
I mean, we're definitely gonna win this. I'm pretty sure. It's just that... Well... I thought it would be a little bit easier. I didn't think my army would get stack wiped like that. But oh well, what do you know? And he has three forts. And my third son died. No, the bastard. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. But, you know. May I have the feeling. I wonder if my wife did something about it. I wonder if she killed him because she didn't like him. That is possible. It's a, certainly a tragic day, but not as tragic if, as if my firstborn would die, right? Because, well, actually, he's not that good at all. I'd rather have him die. Sorry to say that. It's, I know it's terrible, but it's kind of true. Okay, so he's gonna get attacked because he has no leader at all. But yeah, everyone's storming in. <laughs> Nobody stormed in to help me. It's kind of frustrating, actually. Move in there. Let's wait for this cavalry to be built as well. How far is the conversion going? Or how... Yeah, 80%. Alright, combine. Give me a new leader, Alexander. Suckball. And let's attack. Maybe you should siege Lüneburg first. I doubt we really should, but might be worthwhile. Don't know. 8,000 men. Do I really want to attack? Yeah, I do, because hopefully these guys are going to join. No, they're, okay, they're going to join. I thought they are just going to watch me die. Totally trust they would do that. And we're losing. We're losing still. Wow, that is actually amazing. Because Brandenburg, where the hell are you? You know what I will do? I will have to... I will focus my army over to Lunenburg. Get this front flank out. Because Brandenburg is just duking around there. Um, they're occupied somehow with these guys. So I will have to siege them down. Get them out of the war. And then Brandenburg can focus over here. Livonia Order didn't even bring his troops. Like this is really just Riga and Teutonic Order. And it's just so bad. Alright, siege down Lunenburg. And then we'll see what happens. Um, we're, wow, we're like... No, we're not at a cap. I remember. I keep forgetting that we're not at a cap. More points. Wow, I can store up so many points. That's great. I love storing them up. So much fun. And not Yet another new cardinal. We now have three cardinals. That is really good. Might actually have a... Good chance of becoming the next uh, Cardinal Courier Controller. Actually, no. Never mind. Get together. And let's move out. Yeah, all of the cab. So basically, this is just all of the mercenaries, right? Yeah. And we have all of our cab right here. Let's go to Poznan, potentially. And recent uprising has expired, which means we have now unrest in... Lvov only, but that's only because it's converted. So now that's done, there should not be any unrest at all. Okay, point four. But that's not taking into consideration that it's the right religion. Yeah, and it still has active missionary in here. You lose diplo power, or prestige diplo power. I don't need diplo power at all. Cool. So no unrest. Now, if this guy would actually send his 15,000 men, rather than getting annihilated, uh, we might have a chance. But, yeah. Apparently, he's not interested at all. Jesus. It's a bad war. But I, I'm just warmongering all the time, I know. I shouldn't. Shouldn't be doing that. Wife is past childbearing age. Ah. Oh. But we did have two sons, so that's good. The one sucks. Not sure if the second one's gonna turn out better. Not sure if it really matters. But it's really frustrating that we're losing this. I mean, we're getting like, we're getting stomped, basically. That's, that's really bad. Eastern Militia is much better than the Medieval Infantry. Which is probably what we have had before. 
Okay, three guys. Um, yeah, unfortunately, though, this was the end of today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching so far. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Steve Tronka, signing off.